howdy boys and girls. Don't know what that was, but that's okay. Today, you see these? I have these lovely anhydrous tanks behind me, and we're gonna get going, because daylight's a waste in everybody. It's time to get going. I'm just going to line myself up on my auto steer here, power up. I've got boss man outside, dad, he's watching me closely, making sure I do everything all right. I'll line my auto steer up. Okay, so if any of that confused you, it's okay, don't worry, I was throwing a lot of information at you. Okay, so clearly we're in a cornfield here, we're in a tractor, it's not my favorite tractor, we're in the 8530, but you know, this one will do. I throttle up a little bit more here. Here we go. Um, behind us we have our anhydrous bar. So we have these two anhydrous ammonia tanks that we got from the co-op, and that, with that hose, hooks up to this bar. Each bar has little like coulter discs that open up a little furrow. And then there's a knife that the anhydrous comes out of. And uh, then there's little closing discs that close them in and packs all that anhydrous fertilizer into the ground. I have my little gauge that's telling me how many pounds we're putting on. I've got my monitor here that's telling me what we're doing. We're doing variable rate, which means we aren't just putting on a set amount of pounds. Um, it, it's varying dependent on where the ground is and how much it needs with where it's at. So if you get this stuff on your skin, it is a chemical burn and it will also like freeze burn your skin. Um, it is super, super dangerous to breathe in. If you inhale it, um, if you ever have smelled what anhydrous ammonia smells like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you breathe any more than a little bit in, it will burn your lungs. Uh, so yeah, very, very dangerous stuff. That is why I'm in the safety of this cab, and that's where I'm going to stay. Um, so I just got like the total rundown on this from dad. Uh, he just left me, he rode around with me to make sure I knew what was going on. Um, I've never been trusted with this job before because it's kind of dangerous. Um, but he said if I ever need a tank hooked or unhooked, he'd do it for me. So that's great. It is a beautiful sunshiny day outside. It's about 45 degrees. The ground is just dried out enough to start doing field work. And I am so excited to be back in the tractor cab. Okay, so we're on the outside of the rig to give you guys a little bit of a better look at what we were just doing. So here's our tractor, 8530. Here's our uh, anhydrous bar here. So first off, when I put this down on the ground, this just slices a little hole. Here is our knife. So the anhydrous comes through this tube here and gets knifed into the ground right here. And then these two discs here just close it right on up. Okay. So here are the anhydrous tanks. They're pretty tall. Um, this tire, yeah, that's about my waist. Here we go. So they're way above my head. Here, if you see, there's an eye wash station right on top. So if anything were to happen, you can just yank that uh, tube down and you can wash out your eyes. Here is where it connects. So this hose goes with the bar over here and there's a nice little resting spot for it over there. But everything comes hooked and unhooked here. And then here's the hitch where you hook up the anhydrous trailer to the bar itself. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. 
looks like when my envelope picks up and I turn around. So you can see the ammonia a little bit more here. Lower my speed. I'm going to pick up my bar. Here you can see the anhydrous. I'm shutting it off. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start my slow turnaround here. It's nice and easy. I'm in no big hurry. Now I'm going to be very careful so that I turn on my auto steer actually this time. There we go. Now my auto steer is on. Our farm uses these radios for communication. Um, so instead of calling each other like 90 million times a day, everyone just carries a radio. My call sign on the radio is 501 and dad's is 510. 501 to 510. I get to talk with you guys all day long, which I love. Here I have a little snack bag. I got some Pop-Tarts, because it's morning time and all I had for breakfast was a bagel. Um, so I got my Pop-Tarts, got some Rice crispy Treats. I got, I know this looks like water, but it has a little flavor packet in it. That's pretty good. I love being an attractor, you guys. So I don't know if you guys believe this or not, but we're already almost done with this field. Good news everyone, mom's on her way with lunch. It's gonna be good. So many things just happened in the last like 15 to 20 minutes. First off, and most importantly, I got a splinter in my finger. I do not know how, considering that I was in a tractor cap, but I got a splinter in my finger, but don't worry, success, I got it out. Okay, second, mom brought me lunch. I got steak and all sorts of like really goody, really yummy goodies, so lunch tractor cab oh my goodness the perfect combination it's so your cool you got the ac blowing on you i got all my friends on the radio to talk to got entertainment going on um and i could eat my lunch so so many things and then also clearly we are in the, the diff a different tractor we're in the 8345r my favorite tractor on the farm and that dad's gonna let me run the brand new disc which i'm very excited for because i didn't think he would ever give that up um so I'm gonna try and eat lunch and figure out how to run it at the same time. And you know, I haven't done my makeup yet today, so honestly I might do that as well. Cause it's never too late to put some mascara on, okay? I've got a whole YouTube audience to be impressing. Okay, let's go. So hydraulically here, this first hydraulic that I'm doing, this just raises it up and lowers it, as you can see. I don't really know how deep I'm supposed to put it in. So I'm just gonna try it out kind of light and we'll see how it goes. Okay, if the tractor starts pulling down, then I'll raise it up a little bit, but if it's not really doing anything, then I'll put it down a little further.
we have the disc out at this field. If you can see, there's a small little fire going on right there. No need to be concerned. We started this fire on purpose. Um, we have all the necessary equipment. Um, we have big water tanks. We have uh, little flapper things to put it out. Um, we do controlled burns a lot. Uh, we also have a burn permit. So fire department, sheriff, everybody knows we're doing this. So if anybody calls the smoke in, they can say, oh, don't worry, that's just Carlson's. Um, uh, we have a little grass patch in this corner of the field and we're just kind of burning it to get rid of it. Anyway, so you might be asking, where could the disc come in handy with this? Well, you see, in case by small chance this fire would get out of control, the disc can help kind of put the fire out. I am a, a farmer and a firefighter. I have many, many roles. And just like that, that little grass patch is gone. All right, so now that the fire is pretty much out, I'm going to be driving around and disking it all up, okay? So I'm just gonna get a little bit closer. I'm not going to have a lot of speed, but I'm gonna have a lot of power. So I'm throttling all the way up. I'm going to drop the disc in the ground here just to get a feel for how low I want it. And I'm just gonna see how deep I can go, how deep it'll pull, okay? The tractor's pulling pretty hard, but it is ripping it all up and it feels pretty good. Oh, oh and look at that nice strip that's left behind. That is beautiful. We're going to be going over this maybe four, five, six times even just to get everything really smoothed out. my new favorite implement. Sorry, Dad. I'm just going to steal it from you. She did such a good job. You guys, this was like grass maybe 30 minutes ago. I did a lot more than six or eight passes over it. It was probably more like 15 to 20. But hey, look at that. This is going to be great soil. This was just kind of like the corner lot on this field. There's trees here. So we're just going to be making use of this now. Wow, that's awesome. because I know I won't have to change the tanks. We're on a different field, so instead of doing a variable rate where the amount of anhydrous we're putting on changes throughout the field, we're only putting on a steady rate, don't mind that, of 160 pounds per acre. Uh, that's just telling me. That... One second. Well, my GPS just gave out on me, so I guess I'm just gonna drive it for now. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, uh, we're putting on a flat rate of 160 pounds per acre and I have 70% of these tanks left, so we'll be fine. I'm not going to work until dark today because in addition to all the other things I'm doing, you know, farming full time, making YouTube videos, being a wife, uh, still going to school, um, you know, cleaning a house, cooking meals, etc., etc. 
I also help out at a local high school coaching track because I just need other things to, you know, fill my free time up with. So I'll be doing that um, in the afternoon. All right, I'm ready to call it a day with this machine. This treated me very nicely. I cannot tell you guys what a beautiful day it is today. There's no wind, so calm. Um, a lot of neighbors have been doing some burning on their fields and ditches as well. Oh, and it's nice enough that it's finally four-wheeler season. So I'm going to take the four-wheeler back to the farm, grab a pickup, and head in to help some kids learn how to pole vault, learn how to hurdle, you know, uh, impact some young lives. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for just following along on my crazy days. I never have any idea what I'm going to do. So thanks for being along for the ride. See you later.